the Trans Jar is the race in our mind that's organised by a sailing company actually and um, the, the whole purpose of the event is to sort of promote tourism in our mind. So I feel like I heard about the race and I, I contacted the organisers and yeah the next thing I was um, on a plane to Oman to go do a race in the desert. I had no idea what to expect. Um, I'd just seen some photos, some really high mountains, um, and I heard there was a lot of climbing. And 2015 they had a brand new race village, um, which was um, actually prepared by the military. I arrived in Oman early early on Wednesday morning at 3.30 in the morning um, and uh, it didn't get me a great night's sleep um, and the next morning after some some tourism around the city in Muscat we, we, we boarded buses um, all the way out to the desert um, where we, we, we sort of set up our bikes, built them out of the bike boxes. I love travelling with my bike and for me this is a great opportunity to get out there and. Um, just ride in a different, um, diff completely different place to what I'm used to. Well, the race took part in a five-day format. We did um, 400 k's in five days. Um, yeah, we had a long, a long marathon stage of 128 k's, um, followed by two shorter stages of 60 k's, um, and then um, yeah, the final day was a 100 k kind of flat race, um, and then of course we, we started with a 40 k prologue. Yeah, I think the main difference from this race to South African kind of stage races is obviously um, South Africa has a much more varied terrain to, to work with. Um, in Oman, a lot of the roads get hard as well, so every year their routes are changing. So last year's race village had to be changed because a lot of roads were hard. Um, yeah, the terrain is actually can be quite similar in some areas. You know, we, we went through a lot of Karoo type areas. Um, obviously, a little bit less rubbery. Um, but yeah, some of the, the technical parts had quite a few loose shale rocks, so that's not what we're used to riding really. Um, but mo mo for the most part, it was district road, um, so n not really what we'd expect from a stage race here. You know, South Africa we've got very high standards. I think probably the highest standards in the world for stage racing. So almost any race you go to nowadays um, overseas, you, it might not live up to to what you, you're racing. Um, Having said that, the guys from Oman Cell made our, our trip really comfortable. You know, they, they cared for every need. We had great food, um, enough to drink, for water. we had nice warm showers, great campsites, and there was a great camaraderie. Um, actually, most of the participants in the race were made up of expats from around Arabia. Yeah, so on stage three, um, you know, I'd made a break early in the day with James and um, unfortunately I flattered on one of the long downhills. So I was kind of chasing back um, and we were faced with this really steep climb at the end of the day. We were around a corner going downhill and um, I checked Andrew on the, walking on the side of the road with his wheel folded in half. Um, and he had some, some support there so I didn't stop but afterwards you find out um, he'd come around a blind corner and a goat darted in front of him and he hit the goat head on. Um, and yeah, the goat disappeared. I don't think anyone knows what happened to the goat, so hopefully the goat's alright. But um, yeah, Andrew was really sore and yeah, he, he didn't want to get on his bike the next day. I think he was really, really hurting. But um, yeah, that was quite funny. You know, there were a lot of jokes about being sheepish and having a bad fall and stuff like that going around. But it was, yeah, that added to the experience, definitely. I mean, the, the racing was really cool, but what stood out for me a lot was um, we, on the last day that we were there, we got taken around Oman and the, in particular the capital Muscat. And um, yeah, by, we were taken around by some locals and yeah, they showed us parts of the old city and the palace. Um, we got to see a bit of the culture, get to barter with the people and just really get to connect with, with like the real people in, in Oman and just get to get to grips with who they are. Um, so for me, that like culture is always something that's really cool to experience. So just connecting with um, people from different cultures was something really cool.